ADBRI's goal is net zero emissions by 2050. We want to produce lower carbon products that support Australia's economy and the communities in which we operate. We recognise that reducing emissions won't be easy. We operate two emissions intensive and hard to abate processes, the manufacture of cement and industrial lime. Both products play a critical role in our day-to-day -day lives and are essential to the built environment. We've already started to reduce our operational emissions that are down 32% since 2010. Within our net zero emissions roadmap, we've set targets for the short and medium term and a long-term goal of net zero across our value chain. Our initial focus is on our scope one and scope two emissions. In the future, we plan on setting targets for our scope three emissions. We're targeting a 7% absolute reduction in scope one and scope two emissions by 2024 compared with our 2019 baseline. The actions outlined in our Net Zero Emissions Roadmap focus on three key areas. Reduce emissions, create new products and collaborate. Our roadmap outlines three medium-term targets for FY30 based on our FY20 baselines. These targets reflect our largest sources of emissions and include a 20% reduction in net cement emissions intensity a 10% reduction in lime emissions intensity and 100% zero emissions electricity supply. Our long-term goal is net zero emissions by 2050, aligned to the Paris Climate Agreement. Harnessing breakthrough technologies is a key part of our net zero emissions goal. We have shown we can reduce our carbon emissions using new technologies. We were the first Australian cement company to use refuse-derived fuel and our kiln as a partial gas substitute. However, we cannot advance climate change action alone. Government policy, industry leadership, breakthrough technologies and customer shift are all critical. I welcome and encourage you to join us on our net zero pathway. Together, we build a better Australia.